Is your health in a tailspin because of the spicy secret the FDA is hiding? Spices. Not only do they make drinks and meals exciting, but we associate them with a healthy kick, with powerful combos like ginger and turmeric known to knock out everything from arthritis and indigestion to cancer. But what do you do when you are actually warned against them because of dangerous levels of contamination? According to an analysis that was conducted by Consumer Reports, many of the spices that are very likely to be in your cupboard actually contain high levels of dangerous heavy metals, including arsenic, cadmium, and lead. This report investigated many different types of spices, including chili powder, oregano, basil, ginger, paprika, turmeric, and black pepper. Five to ten brands of each spice were laboratory tested for different heavy metal contaminants. Then ranked, either with a green check mark, indicating that it was safe, or one to three red circles, indicating that there was a mild to serious reason to be concerned. After an analysis on the 126 different products, ranging from national brands down to private label store brands, Consumer Reports found about a third of all the samples contained either concerning or even dangerous levels of heavy metals. That's one third of the brands that are currently on the supermarket store shelves. This means 40 had high enough combined levels of arsenic, lead or cadmium to pose a health concern for children when regularly consumed in typical serving sizes. Most of these also raised concerns for adults, meaning that just like you want to be aware of lead-based paint or toys around the house, you should also be aware of these specific brands and their products. And unfortunately for many who care about clean food, some organic spices were included in this list. One should note that, in particular, 31 of these spices that were tested had lead levels so high that they exceeded the maximum amount that anyone should have in a full day. And for some particular categories of herbs and spices, these researchers found that there were few safe options at all. For example, when researchers looked at herbs thyme and oregano, they found that all of the different brands tested had at best concerning levels of different heavy metals. Sadly enough, ginger and basil were the second worst defenders having all but one brand tested having concerning levels of at least one heavy metal. So how exactly is this happening to some supposedly reputable brands? According to a leading chemist involved in the testing of these samples at the laboratory, much of this contamination can be attributed to where the spices were grown and or with the manufacturing process. If the water or soil where the food is grown has been contaminated by pesticides or industrial uses, heavy metals may also get into the plants or even the processing equipment or packaging during processing. This is actually something different from what spice trade organizations acknowledge. To defend this, the executive director of the American Spice Trade Association said, it's almost impossible to rid herbs and spices of all heavy metals because of the unavoidable presence in the environments where they're grown, the amount of heavy metals absorbed from the soil and the part of the plant where they can end up. According to our recent risk analysis, spices make up less than 0.1% of dietary lead exposure in children ages 1 to 6. And for adults, the American Spice Trade Association believes that the risk is low and mostly because spices are a very small component of the typical diet. The argument is essentially that the contaminants are there, regardless. The thinking is that you can't do much about them, but it's okay because spices are a small part of the human diet. However, that does not address the wild variation between different brands. The other variable not accounted for is the lower level of contamination that small children can tolerate. And we shouldn't just ignore these issues as we know that heavy metals like lead and arsenic can increase the risk of cancer, cognitive, behavioral, and reproductive problems, even in small amounts. But do we really want to put children at risk for lower IQ, behavioral problems such as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or health issues like type 2 diabetes? An investigator with Consumer Reports explained it like this in an interview on CNBC. The heavy metals cannot easily be cleared or metabolized by the body. They have a cumulative effect, and so they literally stay in you. They're almost a forever chemical in our bodies. 
And unfortunately, there have been recent examples of young children living in households that use a lot of spices falling ill. For instance, this study was able to link a case of lead poisoning in a 12-month-old boy in Massachusetts, at least in part, because of the contaminated turmeric was used by the family. Besides these, there were five similar cases discovered in Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, and New York. Since the study was made public, over a dozen turmeric brands have been recalled. There was another study that was published in the CS Weekly Report in 2018. It found high lead levels in 22% of food samples, mostly spices and herbal remedies taken from homes of children with lead poisoning in North Carolina. You can check out the reference links in the description below. So Americans need to ask some serious questions about where they get their food. Should they blindly pick up whatever is on sale at the grocery store or simply use no spices at all? We here at Coconut Country Living don't believe in taking chances with contaminated manufacturing equipment or agricultural environments that contain high levels of heavy metals or pathogens, for that matter. Fresh spices from lands using organic farming practices in virgin soil should always be the goal. And that is what we believe we have found in the farms we have found on the beautiful island of Sri Lanka, also known as Ceylon. The fact that terrible battles and wars have been fought for these spices tell us something in particular. Spices are important for our existence and not to be abandoned. While the medical establishment has been quick to push untested solutions on the general public. Spices like turmeric have had literally thousands of studies showing unique benefits medical science can only hope to hold a candle to. So don't give up taste and health so fast when whole civilizations were born and have thrived with these delicious herbs and remedies from the earth. To help you learn more we are giving away our line of ebooks like Turmeric Secrets of Health and Beauty and the Moringa Miracle so you can have the most powerful tools at your side to nurture, heal, and please your family. It can make a huge difference in your life, and I should know. I'd love for you to learn the secrets and powerful cures I have discovered so you can share these benefits too. Check out our reviews to see what fresh spices like turmeric, black pepper, ginger, and true cinnamon have done to up the cooking, beauty, and health games of foodies like you. Please visit us at store.coconutcountryliving.com or the link below to learn more and enter SUPFOOD1 for a special discount. Please, like, subscribe, and comment, and let us know about your own journey, and we will see you in Coconut Country.